Welcome to Now, I'm your host, Curtis Parody, and as of tomorrow, a bunch of my money will be on its way to Apple. The reason I'll be sending a bunch of my money to Apple tomorrow is because of the announcement of the iPhone 5. Yep, that's right. Yesterday was the big day for Apple. They announced the much anticipated iPhone 5, the sixth generation of the popular smartphone. Yep, the sixth generation called the iPhone 5. It makes tons of sense. Anyway, let's move past that on to the new features. The screen is now larger with a four inch display, keeping the same width, but gaining some height. The body of the phone has been updated. The shatter prone glass back has been dropped in favor of a solid aluminum back. The cameras have now been updated with a front facing camera now capable of 720p HD video, which is a plus for people who watch my vlog. It turns out the two microphones on a phone is no longer enough. The iPhone 5 sports three microphones, one on the front, back, and bottom. These will help with the noise cancellation while on a call and during video recording. Another cool feature with the camera is the new panorama mode, which allows you to hold your iPhone vertical and sweep it from left to right, creating a panorama photo. And for those video lovers, you can now capture photos while capturing video at the same time. It's a pretty cool new feature. The iPhone 5 now encompasses the new Apple A6 chip, which will make your phone faster than previous versions. And really, isn't that all that matters? Along with the faster processor, the phone now supports LTE networks, where available, of course, allowing for faster data speeds. And on the bottom of the phone, there is a new connector called Lightning. This new port is smaller and allows for faster data transfers. It also allows you to purchase brand new iPhone accessories, which is great. Thanks a lot, Apple. And to top it all off, this phone is running the new iOS 6, which is complete with a new Maps app, full screen web browsing, and more Siri upgrades. Overall, this is more of an incremental upgrade than anything else. From the outside, the phone looks similar to the iPhone 4S. But if you're like myself and are interested in purchasing one of these awesome new devices, you can of course pre-order it this Friday on Apple's website, or head down to an Apple store next Friday to pick one up in person. It's sure to be a quick rollout of the iPhone, and if you pre-order this Friday, you're sure to have your new iPhone by next weekend. But that's not all Apple announced at this event. This was their September event, which means new iPods. Starting with the iPod Touch. This got the most obvious upgrade, the larger screen from the iPhone 5. It also now includes the Apple A5 processor, upgraded cameras that can now shoot up to 1080p HD video, and it has a cool new strap accessory to ensure you never drop your music player. Actually, it's hard to classify this as a music player anymore. Can we just classify it as like a multimedia device since it does so much more than just playing music? The iPod Touch also lost a significant amount of weight, becoming even thinner than before, and for the first time ever, the iPod Touch is available in a variety of different colors. Next, we move on to the iPod Nano, or what I'm classifying as the iPod Touch Mini. The reason for this is because, really, that's what it is now. With the 2.5 inch widescreen multi-touch display and a new home button, the iPod Nano looks a lot like its bigger siblings. The iPod Nano may look like it's running iOS, but sadly, it's not. It's simply running a touch version of the iPod Nano's operating system. The most notable part about the OS is the circular app icons. I'm not really sure why they dropped the regular iOS app icon shape, but it is interesting to note that the home button also looks a little different on this device. Sporting a circle instead of the rounded square, I assume, since the home screen has circular icons instead. The new iPod Nano also comes in a variety of colors, includes the new lightning port, and for the first time includes Bluetooth, allowing you to connect it wirelessly to your car or stereo. From the iPods to another interesting addition to all of this was the reinvention of the iPod headphones. Now called EarPods, these new headphones are designed to direct sound directly into your ear canal. Until I get my hands on a pair of them, it's hard to actually tell if they're any good. And the big question for me personally is how well they actually feel while in my ears. I know the current earbuds make my ears hurt after wearing them for any longer than about half an hour. Instead, I use Skull Candy headphones which mold to the inside of your ear and they feel great. And the last big announcement of this event was iTunes 11, a radical redesign of the media organization software. iTunes 11 will be released in October and has an entirely new look and feel. With the new What's Next playlist feature, Album View, and iTunes Store, this brand new iTunes looks like it's the biggest change the program has received in years. Only time will tell if the new iTunes will be good or bad. So there you go, a ton of new Apple products announced today, but now it's time for my question to you. Out of all the products announced yesterday by Apple, which are you most likely to purchase? The new iPod Nano, Touch, or iPhone? Tell me in the comments section below, or you can let me know on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. 
Links to all that and more in the description below. And when you're done commenting, why not click the subscribe button in that corner? Then all the newest episodes of Now will get sent straight to you. Then you can click the like button because you like this video, you like the content in it, or you like me. One of the three. I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.